Hello dolly lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over Truett Michelle's details. So first I will start with the creator of this sculpt and the reborn doll artist behind this doll. So this particular sculpt is the limited edition Elise by Cassie Brace and hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. She is number 6 out of 970 sculpts, and you'll be able to see the artist's signature on the back of her neck in just a moment. But that is the sculpt. Um, I did have a hard time finding this sculpt because it's been sold out for quite some time, but there still may be a few floating around for sale in Facebook groups that are selling vinyl dolls. So I'll try to post a link to the vinyl reborn doll group where they do sales and trades in there. And hopefully if you're looking for this sculpt that you can find it in there or on eBay which is where I found mine. So that is the sculpt Elise by Cassie Brace. And the artist who made my little Truett is Kat Johnson of Cat's Reborn Creation or Cat Creation Reborn, excuse me. So here it is. That is the name of her nursery shop. Um Cat is a great artist. I had no problems with her. Of course every artist does their business differently, so it was a different experience for me compared to some other artists. But I love her creations. They're beautiful. And she's a very well-trusted, well-respected artist. If you're looking for a custom Reborn doll, she is definitely on my list of recommendations. So that is her information about the sculpt and information about the artist. If you're searching for an artist to create your next dream Reborn baby. So I'm going to get up close here so you guys can see her details. So I thought we'd start at the bottom of her hair and work our way up. And we are focusing on these precious little legs. As you can see, they are really chunky. Really cute. And they are interestingly sculpted. They're kind of in a froggy position here. I have noticed that the creases in the leg here are not as defined as with some sculpts. Um, if you're not used to that, it may be difficult to dress them. But I'm used to babies with kind of bent legs like this. So it doesn't bother me. But as for Kat's painting, it is just beautiful. Her ethnic reborn babies I feel like have a more cool skin tone whereas some artists like Jody Slater have a warmer skin tone so just keep that in mind when you're ordering I don't know if it's gonna show up very well on camera hopefully I'll be um doing a comparison video pretty soon so you guys can really see the differences in my ethnic reborns Anyhow, her toes are just so cute. Cat does very light, very realistic um, nail painting. I love the fact that she puts the half moons on her nails, which you'll be able to see um, soon when I first focus on Truett's hands. But there are those little toes. All the creases are lightly painted. Everything looks realistic. I love how Cat paints um, the creases right here like darker and then towards the middle of the limb it's lighter and the knee is darker. Just as you see in a real ethnic skin tone where jointed areas like little knuckles and stuff are painted darker. So it's really pretty, very realistic in my opinion. She is on the Dose body that came with her, and it has a gathered chest. And it took me a while to figure out what the gathered chest actually does. And what it does is it, it brings in the chest here so the baby's head uh, flops. I feel like it flops 
downward which it should you don't really want your doll's head to flop back all the time it doesn't look as realistic and it's just easier to pose plus it looks better in clothing so i do enjoy the gathered chest on the dosway bodies and on the tushy part which is just for aesthetic purposes actually it just looks better in diapers i feel like so we're moving on to her hands and arms here, and I'll show you guys those fingernail beds. Wow. I just love how she does those little half moons. It's just so cute, so realistic, and I feel like she did an amazing job given that this doll's sculpt, the hands are more closed, they're not very um, open where you can get to all the details, but... Cat did an amazing job capturing those hands, even though they are closed-fisted hands. The shading in the palms of the hands and blushing is very realistic, I feel like. Very beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing here. But I just love these hands. Love, love, love. There's the arm, the elbow. Very smooth, even skin tone. And here we are at the lovely face. She's so beautiful. And I know on some photos it's hard for you to see, but Truett's eyes are actually hazel. And she has very, very lightly rooted eyebrows and eyelashes. So they're baby soft there. And there was a little mishap with the eyes because the first set of eyes didn't fit flush to um, the sculpt. So she took them out and replaced them with a better fit. And I do believe it left a little bit of glue residue, but I think... That makes her look even more realistic, in my opinion. It makes her eyes look like they're kind of watery. Like, she's getting so sleepy, and it's so time for her to take a nap. So, that worked in our favor. The mouth on the Elise sculpt, I feel like, is the most challenging to work with in terms of modified pacifiers. Because the inside is pretty deep. So, any kind of magnet placement would have to be in the chin, which, of course, will make the pacifier sit awkwardly. However, you can tell that on the Elise Sculpt, the mouth is shaped to the side. So, pacifiers don't sit straight in there all the time because her mouth is like a sideways motion. So, if you have this sculpt or you're thinking about uh, trying to hunt it down, just know that pacifiers can may or may not be tricky for you. They're a little tricky for me, but overall, it's really nice. I love the way her mouth is. You can kind of see, uh, it looks like she has a tongue. Cat painted it so beautifully. I love how she paints her lips where it's kind of shaded and highlighted just in the right spots. And in the inside, it looks wet like she has a little tone. But I just love those eyes on her. They're just so beautiful. So I'm going to turn her head so we can take a look at her ears. And the ears are one of my favorite things about how this uh, kit is sculpted. Because she has ear lobes. Like you can literally grasp behind her ears. It's not sculpted flat to her head. And um, I'm trying to see if you can see. But on her ears there you can see the back of the earring. Because she has just that much earlobe hanging off. And I just love that about her. Because you can use um, baby hoop earrings that have the clasp that uh, fold over. And it's just going to look cute. I can't wait to find something to put on her. So she has the best sculpted ears, I feel like, out of all the dolls in my collection. Love it. 
She has her little chin and neck rolls. And the inside of her nose is shaded beautifully and it looks kind of wet. So I am just going to flip Miss Truett over so we can get a look at the back of her. So I've turned Truett around here and doesn't she look so realistic laying like this? She's being a little sassy, showing her booty. But uh, I love the way this Dosway body is shaped. The And Kat did an amazing job weighing and stuffing this reborn body because she is so cuddly. She's probably the second cuddliest doll in my collection and has the best padding in the bum area, if I do say so myself. It's just so soothing to hold her and pat her little butt and diapers fit her wonderfully. I just love it. So this is the gathered bum area and it just helps diapers and clothes fit a whole lot better. Um, you can also get a better look at the back of her legs and those little chubby fat rolls. I love it. Her legs are definitely chunkier than Maisie by Andrea Arcello. But like I said, we'll do a comparison video later on down the line. So here is the back of the neck. And hopefully you can see that the artist did sign the back. Elise by C. Brace. And while we're back here, you can get a look at the back of her head. Of course, she has a little bed head here. But I love the way the direction of rooting, uh, the way Kat does her doll's hair. Um, it's kind of thin back here. Just It's realistic is what I'm trying to say. It's realistic because uh, when a baby is just laying down most of the time, this part of their head usually doesn't grow hair until they're older and not laying down as much. So I feel like it's really, really realistic. She does do directional micro-rooting, and this is really soft mohair on this particular doll. All my other dolls have human hair, so I'm really, really loving the mohair. Um, I usually just wet it and brush to my desire there. Hopefully you can see on the top. And I think she did a fairly good job. The hair is a uh, curly mohair, but it can be styled uh, straight in some spots and curlier in others. And it's super, super soft, and I just love it. So that's basically it about my Elise. Uh, Truett is about to get dressed and just put her PJs back on, and we shall do that now. <laughs>
Truix Details video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you took away some useful information. I tried to get some better close-ups of her hair as I was doing it. Um, that's probably not the most successful part of my filming because it can be kind of awkward to stay in frame and still um, do baby's hair at the same time. But overall, I just love, 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 love this doll. She is my dream baby come true. I didn't think I'd be able to add her to my collection because her sculpt was sold out and very hard to find. But I was so glad that I did find her. And thank you so much to uh, Italy's Mommy on Instagram who was the one who actually found this sculpt on eBay for me when I had gave up looking for it. So if it wasn't for her, I would have never had Truid in my collection. So thank you so much. I will be putting a link to her Instagram account if you'd like to follow her and her beautiful babies. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just love how newborn uh, true it looks compared to my other babies and I feel like the mohair and her eyebrows have a lot to do with that my other babies like I said have human hair and I feel like they look um a little bit older whereas true it she's just so soft and cuddly and her little sleepy eyed face I just feel like she's a whole lot younger and needs a lot more attention <laughs> which I am definitely giving her right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.